Today's story features a new little hero, the detective. Her mission? To find and stop the stinker, who's about to steal an entire supply of beans from the Little Bean Company. They produce and sell beans of all kinds, and the stinker is desperate to refuel. These are the employees of the Little Bean Company. The boss, Alan, and Lily. One of them, however, is not who they say they are. We need to talk about the issue at hand. An empty can of beans is found in the storage closet, meaning that somebody in this room stole it. I didn't do it. I know, but maybe he did it. That's all the evidence I need. I didn't taste the can. I ate a mean burrito for breakfast. Let me see your briefcase. I may not be able to prove it yet, but I will. Can we take a nap? I'm tired. Yeah, nap time. Fine, one hour. As the children were counting sheep, the stinker was about to be counting beans. Yes, this is the detective speaking. Cans of beans were stolen. From the little bean company? I'll be right over. Everyone, this office is now a crime scene. Everything is evidence. Could we get lunch while you're investigating? Actually, no. Why not? because you're all suspects in this case. How is that possible? Well, the closet door has no sign of forced entry, so whoever broke in must have had a key, which means this was an inside job. I bet it was him. Let's not jump to conclusions. Who would steal beans? Only one type of villain, the stinker. So one of us is the stinker? You bet. Kinda cool. Alan, please sit. Oh yes, and can I see your briefcase? <gasps> so, Alan, where were you during nap time? Asleep. I slept like a log. So you never moved? Like I said, a log. Then how do you explain this? <gasps> I didn't put that there. It sure looks like you did. Tell me the truth, Alan. <sighs> okay, well, every day during nap time, I like to dress up. Dress up as who? As a little hero. You're under arrest, Stinker! I bet you make a great little hero. Thanks. But I still don't understand how a can of beans could have gotten in your briefcase. Oh, please don't tell the boss I dress up. I could get fired. Just send in Lily. So, Lily, what do you do here at the Little Bean Company? I keep count of the stock. Do you know how many cans went missing? <laughs> Not really. All right, let's check your count. You know there's supposed to be numbers here, right? Oh no, did I do something wrong? The interviews were going nowhere, so the detective shifted her focus to the stolen contraband. While going through Ellen's briefcase, I found this. I 
knew he was guilty. Let's not jump to conclusions. We still need to find out where he hid the beans. We could check underneath his desk. <sighs> Nothing. Is this your desk? Yes, but you won't find anything under there or in there. May as well look. No. <gasps> Can you give me a second? Sure. I can't believe the boss is the stinker. All I have to do now is get her to lead me to the other beans. I know. Nine one one. Yes, this is the detective. I found the stolen beans, and I need a unit over right away. <sighs> All right, everyone. I'll finish investigating tomorrow. Let's just go home. All right, everybody, go home. It was almost too easy for the detective. All she had to do was wait for the boss to come busting back through that door. Everything was going accordingly, until she got distracted. Let's see what all this fuss is about. Beans, beans, are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you... <laughs> Oh, feeling kind of woozy. Those are some strange beans. <sighs> How did you manage to be the boss of a company and the stinker? Lily? Sweet, innocent Lily. You put the beans in Alan's briefcase? Yes, I did. Not only that, but I put to the stinker's outfit in the boss's desk. You framed both of them. All in the day's work. Remind me never to cross you. And now, prepare for the stinky finale. No! You're okay. Thanks. Anyone up for bowling? Sure! Yeah! 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 <laughs> and that concludes this episode. Another enemy down, another victory for the little heroes. Somebody ordered balloons? No. Well, they're for you. Who are they from? The Stealer! Alert! Toyland has been robbed!
robbed. Report there immediately. Warning! Red gas may trigger imagination! Oh no. should go look for events. And you question her. Jeez. I'll be on walkie. Thanks a lot. So, Daffodil, do you know who did this? You know, you could just ask me. is responsible for this. Well, I think I just found his toy truck. He dropped it doing his getaway. Over and out. I need you to focus. I I'm, I'm focused. Do you remember anything about the incident? There was red gas. Corns and you, Supergirl. No, before. Mm, I just asked Daffodil. No, I need you to think. Mm, um, he had red, red, red balloons. Red balloons. for your truck. Why would you want this truck? Because I gave you one of my balloons. Well, maybe you're the stealer.
is easy. I got your toys back. Thanks, Spider-Man. She's still acting strange. The Steelers red gas is causing it. Do we have a cure? Luckily, I have just the antidote. You're the little heroes! Mission accomplished. You know, we have all these toys here. Do y'all want to play with them? Yeah! Ah! Howdy neighbor, looks like another slow day here in Bushwhack County. I think you'll find our town nice and quiet. I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted is that this town is run by these two law enforcement officers. That fella right there is Deputy Moss Hatchet, and this lovely lady right here is Sheriff Sammy Oakley. On a typical day, they wouldn't expect nothing to happen, but today ain't a typical day. Moss. Moss. Yes, ma'am. Make your rounds. Yes, ma'am. Anything suspicious? Nope. You didn't see nothing? No. So all good? Yep. Excuse me, is the coast clear? Who's there? Yeah, how you doing? My name's Charlie. As you can tell, I'm a talking dog. I need to report that that driver has almost hit me twice. Twice? Is he chasing you? What are you talking about? He's just a bad driver. You go wait inside. Moss and I will go investigate. Let's go. Close by. Search his motorcycle. Sure, I think I found something. What is this picture of Charlie doing in this guy's motorcycle?
Charlie's gonna have to answer for this. Charlie, you want something to eat? Got any bagels? Charlie, you better have some answers. What in the daggone Sam Hill is this picture doing in that driver's motorcycle? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. Eh, yeah, all right. As you can probably tell, I'm from up north. I was living there with my master, who also happens to be the driver. The problem was, I wanted a backyard, but the master wouldn't move. So I ran away, down here. And the driver's mad at you for leaving him? Yeah. Sounds like you two need to make up. I want to, but I'm scared for my life. We have a problem too. He stole our cruiser. And we need your help to get it back. What can I do? We're gonna set a trap and you're gonna be the bait. Uh, okay. A hold down. You're about to find out. Welcome to our first annual Little Heroes Union meeting. Today we'll be talking about any questions or complaints. I have a question. What is my health care ticket again? Why? Did you have an accident? I fell out of a tree saving a cat. Oh no! Is the cat okay? Uh, yeah, but I'm not. You'll be fine. Any other questions? Does anybody know how to unjam a pistol? Oh, try pulling the hammer back. I have a complaint. Can someone please tell the spark to stop setting fires on Sunday? Well, that's my little twin brother for you. At least your brother doesn't stink up the whole place. Well, we all have evil twin siblings. That's not the issue. The issue is... The spark is the issue. He doesn't listen to nobody. Try fixing it when everyone clears out. Well, someone should say something. What should we say? Got it. It was out of ammo. Meanwhile, across town, another meeting is taking place. A meeting of the little villains. These villains just happen to be related by blood to the heroes. That's right, they're all twins. Just not morally. You're listening to KLVR, Little Villains Radio. Pretty cool, huh? <coughs> Welcome, 
little villains to our annual union meeting. Can I jump right in? Go ahead. Someone in this union needs to reimburse me for all the cans of beans I buy. How many cans of beans do you buy a week? 20. Cut that in half. 10? You think I can pass gas with only 10 cans of beans a week? 20. What about 15? 20. 14. 18. 10. 12. Deal. Wait, what? On to other business. Spark, there have been complaints that you've been starting fires on Sunday. What's the problem? The problem is, everyone needs a day of rest. That's a 20th century. Well, instead of starting fires on Sunday, you can start two fires on Monday. Okay, but the problem is, I already sent the little heroes a little surprise. You did what? Look, someone just dropped the box off. What is it? I don't know. It's a box of fire! Who would do that? The spark. And again, he does it on his Sunday. We need to call a truce. We need to call the little villains. Where are they? You don't expect the villain to be on time. There they are. Glad you guys decided to show up. Being evil has no schedule. Talking about schedule, we need the spark to stop setting fires on Sunday. I don't need your rules. Wait, what do you have to offer for us? Uh, I need a year's supply of beans paid for. Deal. You're gonna negotiate with the enemy? Compromise, my friend. Lower your weapon. Handcuff. Excuse me. Does this mean I won't be getting my beans? Welcome everyone to this special event. 
Today we will be swearing in a new member of the Little Villain Society, the Striker. Now, before you are sworn in, we have some questions for you. Why do you want to be bad? I want to be bad because being bad is fun and being good is boring. Mm, the correct answer was because being bad is really fun and being good is so boring, but close enough. One more question. Do you know the Secret Society's handshake? Do I? Congratulations, you are now an official member of the Little Villain Society. Are you excited? I'm so excited, I have to go to the bathroom. Down the hall to the right. He's a good kid. He's all right. Little heroes, do you copy? You are now officially talking to a little villain. Good. Your next objective is to find their master plan. Action! What's that? It's a plan to show how the little villains will take over the world. You really think it'll be hidden somewhere in this office? I'll be right out. Feeling better? Uh, sure. Good, because now we're going to show you something classified. Behind this door is our most valued possession. The master plan? How do you know about that? Don't all villains have one? Good point, but no. Behind this door is... The snack bar. It is your job to make sure that we are always stocked with snacks. I'll take stock right now. I like your initiative. Go ahead. I thought I was just gonna take a break. It's lunchtime. Join us. No, nothing. Join us! Okay. Eat something. I don't feel very good. He's nervous. Yeah, he is. You know I'm sitting right here. Why are you nervous? First aid jitters. Well, you're doing great. Now, refill my water. <sighs> oh, hey, by the way, when do we get to leave? Whenever. You can come in late and leave early. It doesn't matter. Schedules. Who needs them? But apparently those little hero schmucks do. <laughs> 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 N nothing. Is that toilet paper? Throw it away. But it's for my allergies. Throw it away! But it's in perfectly good condition. Fine. 
If you won't, then I will. Wait! I need to wipe my mouth. Hero. Taking over the world after all. A big hero. Um, where am I? Camelot. C Camelot? What, what year is it? The year be it AD 1215. I need to get back to the presents. Oh, proceed no further. Don't make me use my weapon. Don't make me strike me down. I'm faster it. Fire from thy hand. Thou must be a, a witch. Uh, okay, wait. Fred! Man, you should have seen your face. Glad I can make you laugh. Hey, this prank wasn't my idea. Whose was it? The master of disguise. She owns a costume shop. She gave me this whole outfit. You'll have to pay her a visit. I know you're here. Didn't you want to meet me? 
I found in the mirror. Myself. It's about time. Seriously, I was looking at my reflection. What is that? Is that through the mirror? Wait, were you at the costume shop? This is the master of disguise. Hey, did you pull another prank? Brad? So you heard? Yeah, she thought it was so funny. I wish you could have seen it. She lost it. She says you lost it. Give me that. <clears throat> so, you think you're funny? Well, I'm hilarious. You know what's not funny? Your hair. What is that supposed to mean? Your hair, it's pretty. Thank you. Let me ask you something. Why do blondes wear their hair up? I don't know. So they catch everything that goes over their head. She better watch herself. Um, are you okay? Never been better. It looks like it's time for another prank from... The Master of Disguise. Man, you should have seen your face. She lost it. Why do blondes wear their hair up? So they catch everything that goes over their head. No! Ah! The stealer! You weren't expecting me, huh? You picked the wrong person to scare. Oh boy. Hey boss, do you copy? I copy. Did you hear the Steelers in trouble? What's going on? I see. That's strange. It's the Steelers' day off. I know. She's at home watching little superheroes. You know what that means? We have an imposter. <laughs> She's an imposter! Who are you? I'm the master of the skies! So, you pranked me? Again? Sorry. Hold on! Don't you think the master intended to do this? To lure the villain in? Yep, that was totally what I intended. Clever. You're under arrest. But! Have you heard the joke about why blondes wear their hair up? Thanks for saving me. I just wanted to avoid a big disaster. <gasps> Good evening, everyone. This is Baxter McCormick with Breaking News. Widespread panic is speeding through the country like a bullet train on the loose. Children everywhere, and some adults, have been experiencing bizarre cases of hysteria. Scientists believe that the cause of this mysterious hysteria was brought upon by a recent batch of apple juice that was spiked. Spiked by a substance called crazy sugar. The prime suspect in this case is Don Vincenzo, criminal mob boss and owner of a juice box company How do you like them apples? Juice. In order to protect all citizens, the police are instituting 
Prohibition! Apple juice is now illegal. Police officers are confiscating all apple juices in an effort to end this insanity. Let us hope the little heroes can end this madness and bring Don Vincenzo to justice before this gets out of hand. You know that's illegal. But it tastes so good. You know, if you wanted a juice box, I have hundreds in my office. Who are you? Don Vincenzo. Nice to meet you. You look thirsty. Here, you can have my juice box. But, it's not free. You have to do something for me. And what is that? It has something to do with the little heroes. Coming. Don't overestimate me. I'm not that clever. Don't deny it. You were expecting us. I'm an honest citizen. I even let the little boy run his lemonade stand out front. <laughs> That's a good one, brother. You know, I like you two. I could use a couple of bodyguards. We'd um never work for you. Not even for a lifetime supply of juice boxes. Are you trying to bribe us? Of course not. <clears throat> Listen, you have two choices. Tell us where the other juice boxes are, or go to prison. Which one will it be? Have any other questions? I have a question. Would you all like some lemonade? Sure. Sure. Where do you think the other crates of apple juice are? They have to be in his office, but we have to find a way to get back in there without him noticing us. We can wait until night. No, he might have already taken them by then. I've got it, we could sneak in through the warehouse entrance. Let's do it. Look at my collection. This is my ticket to success. I don't understand. Oh, ye of little vision, don't you understand that I spiked the apple juices? But why? Because for people to recover from hysteria, they must drink the antidote. And luckily, I'm the only one with the antidote. Oh, so you can charge people with tons of money for it? Exactly! I'll be rich! Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, do you hear that? Hear what? Are you sure you're okay? Why do you ask? Never mind, just fall. Wait, hear it again. It sounds like a bomb. Am I crazy? <laughs> Never mind, you're the crazy one. <laughs>
like your master plan backfired. Oh yeah. Where is he? When he wakes up, he will destroy this office. You better fix this. Hello everyone, this is Baxter McCormick again with breaking news. The heroes have saved us from this mass hysteria. An antidote is being produced and distributed as I speak. Also, Don Vincenzo's apple juice has been singled out as the bad batch, so all other apple juices are safe to drink. apple juice. However, Don Vincenzo has gone missing. It is believed he lost his mind after mistaking a glass of iced tea for apple juice. Excuse me, do you know why my eggs are disappearing? Then why? But how'd they get here? It's me. I always wanted to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Can I pet you? No, do not touch me. I'm sorry. What I meant was take these. What does the S stand for? Special. Not quite. Stinky? Getting closer. The stinker! Watch out, little heroes. The worst is yet to come. You know, maybe S should stand for scientist. No, thank you. Well, your rotten egg blew the heroes away. The little heroes? Are they okay? Are you kidding? They're dead. Just kidding. Well, my work here is done. Done! We barely got started. You have 500 eggs to make. But that wasn't the deal. The deal that I brought you on. Brought me on? You kidnapped me. Whatever. The point is, if you ever want to smell fresher again, you'll do as I say. But I can't make 500 eggs. Would you rather smell unicorn farts? I don't know, let me check. It's clean. Wait. <coughs> Put the mask back on. Wait, I think it's too late. <coughs> Just kidding. What do you think the sneaker meant when he threatened us? I don't know, but I know he's not doing it alone. What do you think is helping him? I can't think with all this on. Wait, no! It's a rescue. 
rescue note. It says, help, I am a scientist that has been kidnapped by the stinker. We have to save a scientist. Do you have my 500 eggs? No, but I've made a machine that will produce 5,000 eggs. Show me it. Okay, this is probably the best work I've ever done, even if it's for a bad guy. Maybe I can see it sometime today. Never rush the scientist. I now present to you the bionic chicken. What does it do? It lays eggs. Oh, I was hoping for a cannon. Yeah? Well, I want to go to the moon. Let's see who gets lucky first. For your sake, this better. According to my map, the sinker layer is up ahead. rotten eggs all over town. You need to go. Believe it or not, the chicken is very dangerous. Does it have hydraulic powered pegging? Rim shot. No, but it can shoot lasers from its eyes. What's wrong? <gasps> Don't move your foot. Look out. I'm not an expert at diffusing eggs. Never to worry, I'm an expert diffuser. I'll take the chicken, you take the egg. On it! your foot up.